Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to do an integration problem and the strategy I'm going to show you can be adopted to other problems like this. So whenever you have an integral or you have powers of sine and cosine, if you have one that's being raised to an odd power, the strategy is to save a copy of the one that is being raised to an odd power. So in this case we have sine x and it's being cubed, so the strategy is to save a copy of the sine of x. But let me show you what I mean by save a copy solution. We'll start by writing it down again. So we have the integral of, and now I'm going to save a copy. So I'm just going to write sine squared x, and then cosine squared x. And then I'm going to save a copy of sine. So I'm going to write it over here, sine x dx. So I've essentially saved a copy of sine, because if you multiply sine squared times sine, you're going to get sine cubed. So we saved a sine. So what does that mean? That means that that's going to be our du, or at least part of our du. So that means u has to be cosine. So we have to turn this also into cosines. So our u is going to be cosine x. So that means that this sine squared needs to go away. So what we can do is we can write this sine squared as 1 minus cosine squared using an identity. And then here we still have cosine squared. And then here we have sine x dx. So the trick is, whenever you see powers of sine and cosine, if you have one that's raised to an odd power, save a sine and then convert the rest to cosines. But if you memorize save a sine, you'll be able to do it. Because if you save a sine, that means u is cosine, convert the rest to cosines. Now we're ready to differentiate. Taking the derivative of u equals cosine x on both sides, we get du equals. The derivative of cosine is negative sine. We have negative sine x. And then we have our dx here. And we want this to look like what's in our integral, but there's no negative sign in our integral. So what we're going to do now is basically multiply or divide both sides of this equation by negative 1. It's going to give us negative du equals sine x dx. And now we're in a really good place, right? Now we can make the substitution, so let's do that. It will be the integral of parentheses 1 minus Instead of cosine, it's u, so we have u squared. And here we have u squared. And then the sine x dx is going to be negative du. So I'm just going to put the du here, and I'll put the negative on the outside. Let's go ahead and do a power move. I'm going to distribute the negative 1 and the u squared at the same time. Uh, well, maybe not. Okay, let's do it in steps. So distributing the negative 1, we're going to get u squared minus 1, u squared du, just flipping the signs. And now we'll distribute the u squared. The u squared times u squared is u to the fourth. Then u squared times negative 1 is negative u squared. And then we have our parentheses, and we have our du. Now we can integrate and using the power rule. The power rule says you just add 1 to the exponent and divide by the result. So when you do that, you get u to the 5 over 5. And notice I'm not putting equal signs. You could put equal signs. I'm just working from the top down minus, and then u cubed over 3, plus c. There are equal signs here. I'm just not writing them. And let's go back. Our u, what was our u? Our u was cosine. So now we just replace all of these with cosines. So this is equal to cosine to the fifth power of x over 5, minus cosine cubed of x over 3, plus our constant of integration, capital C. That's the final answer. And hopefully this has been helpful to you. Remember, the most important thing is that you save a copy of the one that's being raised to an odd power. So if we had a cosine cubed here, you could have, you could have saved a cosine if you wanted to. Anyways, I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world who is learning math. Until next time, good luck.